Is Luke around? Uh, I can't find him either. I need him to sign off on his champagne order. He never leaves this early. I guess I should have called. Coffee? No. No, thank you. I need to apologize. To Luke? I, I really wish he had been here. Uh, Luke's not one for apologies. I'm sure whatever it was, I don't understand. I fooled myself last night and I put Luke on the spot. And... I, uh, I'm just trying to remember it. I, I know, I know. I know he can't help me. I know that this is, this is my mess and I have to clean it up. I shouldn't expect him to do it for me. I doubt Luke expects an apology. I showed up here last night completely unannounced, and I asked Luke to help me get Lucky back, as if it was his job to help me fix my life. And then Lucky showed up, and he wouldn't even look at me. And I told him that I would do anything, anything to get him back, but he, I, I begged him, and he, he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even talk to me. I'm sorry, love, that sounds painful, but that doesn't explain how upset you are right now. I mean, is something against that flyer? feel good to be right, Luke? I bet it does. You warned Lucky about me, told him how deceitful I was. Well, you practically drilled it into his head. Don't, don't trust Nicholas. Don't get too close to Nicholas. Nicholas is the enemy. Well, it turned out you may be right. Lucky's been nothing but fair to me. And I know what Elizabeth means to him. I watched him fall in love. I know how much he needs her and how much she needs him. But I took her anyway, didn't I? destroyed the one true great love of my brother. It gives me no pleasure to be right about you, Nick. <laughs> I sincerely doubt that, Luke. Actually, I feel sorry for you. After all these years that you've wasted trying to be the good Cassidy, trying to make up for all the damage your family's done, trying to be a good brother to Lulu and to Lucky and a good friend to Elizabeth. But it was a waste of time, wasn't it? You lost that battle. These Cassidy genes went out because we can never change who we are. Never. I should have made you coffee this morning, but... It was a perfect night and a transcendent morning. So why ruin it with some bad coffee? No, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Well, anyway, your talents lie in other areas. You know, Smelly, you're still welcome to move in with me if you want. Even though Sonny didn't jump bail and Jason isn't broke and he didn't lose his apartment, you know, Sonny didn't even get charged with shooting Dante. I don't know how that happened, but Max probably really upset. I would guess, yes. <laughs> Still, I would be thrilled if he wanted to move in with me. Unless you think that's, you know, too much of a commitment for us. While I shall remain ensconced in my regrettably pink room for a number of reasons, most of them professional, for nothing more than to be fully committed to Maximista in every other aspect of our lives. What if I hadn't slept with Franco? Would you want to move in with me then? Why entertain such a painful and self-defeating hypothetical? Okay, Spinelli, this is your last chance. <laughs> Are you absolutely, positively positive that you don't want to sleep with someone else to get me back? I want to forgive you for what happened with Franco. The question remains, will you allow yourself to be forgiven? If you were anyone else, you would be dead. But you protected Michael when you could have easily told Dante. I would never do that. I owed you. Not anymore. And I can't, I can't even believe that you're a traitor. Johnny, I can't believe that you stood by and watched a cop move up through the ranks and you didn't warn me. You actually helped him gather evidence against us. It's not about you, Jason. I do respect you. But I wanted to bring down Sonny and I still do. As of now, you were out! Nobody is gonna deal with you. The men have orders not to speak to you, but because you protected Michael, Sonny's letting you walk away with your life. Nothing else.